we just finished climbing the steps of 87. 87 steps. Our location now, we are on the boundary line of the forest. As you can see, this is a demarcating line that divides this very forest that we found ourselves in into two. That from where we started to this portion is called the regenerated forest. And this part is the main or the original forest. It was first regenerated because at first our forefathers were farming at this part of the forest. They were cultivating cocoa, oil palm plantation, cassava, and other forest stuff. In 1957, the wildlife came in with the mission of preserving and protecting the trees and animals in this very forest. From then, we are when you come here, you only take photographs. You leave your footprints, then you go. We don't cut down trees anymore. We don't hunt anymore. Kaukum is the name of a river. It passes through the forest to Cape Coast and its environment. It serves as drinking water for people at Cape Coast and its environment. And also the sound or the cry of a monkey. Kiaukum. Kiaukum. That's how monkey cries. So the forest was named after a river and the sound or the cry of a monkey. When it comes to this forest, we have a series of activities. We have one, the canopy walkway, that is suspension bridge. We also do hiking. The hiking is an exciting and educative tour. It's the explanation of the trees, their medicinal uses, as well as their cultural values. Through the hiking, we were able to visit the biggest tree in this forest, and also the tree house. The tree house is a well furnished room wooden structure 20 meters up on a tree where visitors do come here to spend the night because most of the animals here are nocturnal. They are mostly active at night. We don't promise of seeing them at the daytime. At this point, is there any question before I continue? We also do bed watching. We have over 350 species of bed. Bed watching is the expensive tour in this very forest. We are doing the canopy walkway, so I will limit myself to that portion. The walkway was constructed by two Canadians and assisted by six Ghanaians. The Canadians were engineers from Vancouver. Yes. They came for hiking and how they saw how straight tall the tree was. They came out with the canopy walkway. That's what they developed it. The walkway was opened to the public in the year 1994 by the late Vice Lieutenant Jerry John Rollins. We have eight bridges, eight bridges in all, and six wooden platforms. Eight bridges, or eight walkways, and six wooden platforms. As human, we thought about us, some of us might be scared or afraid of heights, so we took that into consideration. Those who are scared or afraid of heights. Thus, after the first bridge, we have our first platform over there. I call it the decision taking place. When you get it, that's why you take decisions. <laughs> as to you want to continue the journey, or you want to back up. If you are scared enough and you think you can continue, there's a bypass at your left, you go through that. You go through only three stages. But when you go through your right, you go through all the processes. As you are moving, it will shake, it will swing. You will hear some cracks on the brake, but please do not be afraid. As I said, it was open to the public in the year 1994. There hasn't been any record of casualty. So I don't think you are going to be the first group to set a record in Ghana, in Africa, and the whole world. And may God forbid that. Amen. I like that. Yeah. The height is 11 to 40 meters above forest floor. The longest bridge is the third bridge, 60 meters long, 40 meters down. We should note the bridge was constructed in a such a way that one bridge takes the weight of two forest elephants or can take the weight of two forest elephants because of the materials we used. It was constructed or it was made in a such a way that a bridge takes a weight of two forest elephants and one forest elephant weighed 4,000 kg, 4 tons, meaning a bridge can take the weight of 8 tons. Maintenance teams are on it every morning. They do check the strength of the bridge before we start our tour. I repeat, it was open to the public in the year 1994. From there, there hasn't been any record of casualty. So your safety is assured. We are not going to be the first group to set the record. So a tip, when you are on the bridge and you think you are scared enough, please don't look down. You look straight, then you go. Yes, it's a walkway. We don't run. It's a walkway. So you have to just walk on it majestically. You just hold the ropes, then you go off. You don't have to run to scare other 
people. At this moment, if there's any question, like to ask. You feel free to ask any question. So this forest serves as habitat for animals like monkeys. With the monkeys, we have four species of them: the mona, the dina, the black and white colobus, and the spot nose monkeys. We have forest elephants, pangolins, antelopes, leopard, snakes. They all around. But we don't promise of seeing them at daytime because of the noise we do make. They are nocturnal. That's why I see that like we have the tree house where people do come there to sleep. At night, 12 a.m., 1 a.m., we move to the forest with flashlight. It's very interesting talk. So I wish, or I, I suggest, you once come here to enjoy the tree house. So please, there any question you like to ask again? Please, are you okay? Yep. Well, I, I have said it all, what? Yes, you have. Okay, so thank you very much for your time. So, but your, your boots now, are they coming with us? We're good, brother. Yeah, uh, let's, uh, we're ready for the canopy. No, like those behind. I didn't, we're not coming. worried about them because I'm not. I, because I can't I, go into details. I, know, I have to just do a total number of things in the forest. I have to go with them. Well, so good luck on trying to figure but out. I don't know the situation whereby we'll be on there, but maybe when we are done coming, and we'll be, so I want to find out if they are coming up. Brother, I, I can't. This, this is the group right here of us. I don't. There's no one else coming.